Welcome everyone to this tutorial for Adobe Spark Post. I'm going to take you through how to create a quick social media post. Once you've launched the app and created an account and logged in, you can hit the green plus button. You'll notice there's some different options for you. You can choose backgrounds, patterns, you can take a picture with your camera on the fly, or you can choose a photo from your photo library, which is what I'm going to do now. You'll see once you tap on photo library, you can choose a photo to use in your social media post. You can choose multiple if you want to. I'm going to just choose one and I'm going to tap on add one up at the top. So we can see here once my photo is brought in, I can choose the size at the bottom and we can see there's sizes for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm going to choose the Instagram size. Notice we also have text automatically put on here. If I double tap on it, I can edit that text and I can customize it. And remember your text might be a call to action, it might be a highlight from a story, it might be a quote, it might be some data that you're highlighting. So you wanna consider those things as you're crafting your message. Make sure you have the right tone and it's a powerful message. You can also adjust fonts in here. You can adjust colors. You can adjust shapes effects. Um, I can rotate this and scale it. You can also scale just by pinching your two fingers um, and that will uh, make it bigger or smaller. You can play with the alignment, the spacing, the opacity of it. Um, and I really like the style button because you can scroll through the styles if you didn't want to have um, each of those options selected individually. You can kind of just scroll through and get some ideas. So I'm going to hit done. Notice the add button. You can add images, videos, icons, stickers, things like that. So I'm going to look at stickers here. Um, I'm going to type something related in. And let's see, I might choose this one to add a little bit of movement to my social media post. So we can see that there. You can also adjust the color palette of your post. So you can see you've got a lot of different options there. I really like that one. So I'm going to hit done. You can add in um, a little bit of animation with the text up at the top. Um, you can also adjust the layout if you had uh, different photos. So you can play with that a little bit. Um, and then of course you can also resize it. When you're done getting your post exactly the way you want it, I can preview it with the little play button there. And then I can hit the share button up at the top right corner. And notice you can share the post as an animation or a still image. I'm going to select animation just because there's some movement in here and I want to keep that movement. So as it's creating my video, notice that you have a few options here. I can send it directly to Instagram, Snapchat, messages, for purposes of this exercise, I'm going to save the video right to my camera roll. And after I do that, I'm ready to share. 